Yojin, I've had no hot water at home for five days. The plumber keeps saying he'll come and fix it, but then he phones with some cock and bull story and says he'll come tomorrow. He's cancelled three times. So you haven't showered. You must smell even worse than you normally do. Hi, I'm Paul, he is Yojin, and welcome to One Minute English with Spivacek Language School. Today, we are going to teach you an idiom. So, do you know the idiom we often use in English to describe a story that is obviously not true, especially one given as an excuse? Cock and bull story. You might have heard me use cock and bull story at the beginning of this episode. But let's look at some more examples. The teacher asked the boy where his homework was and he gave her some cock and bull story about how his dog had eaten it. Or the woman was angry that her husband had returned from the pub at 5 a.m. He gave her some cock and bull story that he had lost his keys. Or Tony. Did you get your pay rise in the end? No. Boss gave me some cock and bull story about how we need to cut costs. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, is it just me or do we have more business coming in than ever? I don't know, Tony. I spend most of my days dreaming of being a famous singer. Singing is nice. Tony, you are nice. AC, you are nice. Everything is nice. Cock and bull story. Can you make a sentence using cock and bull story and post it in the comments below? Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya.